everyone welcome to my channel i am timmy banjo and if it's your first time here welcome to this happy bunch happy channel please consider hitting the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to turn on your post notification so you do not miss any of my uploads and if it's not your first time here just give this video a thumbs up and if you wish and if you want to know the keto food i cut off from part two make sure you do keep on watching So the first thing I cut off is coconut milk and no coconut milk is not bad for you when you're on a keto diet in fact it is perfect for you because it has fat it has oil in it and it's perfect for you but this particular coconut milk this one that I always use is of course processed and it is not as naturally made as you would make your own coconut milk yourself so I had to cut this off because there are so many things here that I cannot read or translate and I remember I told you guys that once I cannot read something once I don't know what it is and I google it and it's not giving me what I want I just cut it off because I don't like to take chances with my ketosis so I cut this coconut milk off and if i can get a more organic coconut milk a more you know naturally made coconut milk because this one is heavily processed and of obviously will have preservatives in it hmm. that is that is why i cut it off although i have i have used it to make recipes in the past i will leave a link up here so you can check out one of those recipes they were so amazing like it was so good to be true i just said you know what let me even check what all these things are and i sat down and i was like no 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 i don't know what this is i googled many of them and it wasn't even giving me anything although it, it reads here it doesn't have any carbs it has one gram of sugar in this per 100 ml per 100 per 100 something i don't know per 100 grams or so so i was like okay 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 i am we can manage but at the end of the day i wanted to be sure i am recommending something good something authentic to you guys so that's why i decided to cut this off okay so the next thing i cut off is sweetener no sweetener isn't bad for you but i just you know i don't want anything to remind me of sugar and even before i was on a keto diet when i still used to eat carbs i used to be very very watchful of sugar i hardly take soft drinks if at all i'm taking any soft drink it was always soda water and people were asking me like do you smoke are you an old woman why are you taking soda water i'm like this thing is more appealing in my own mouth than coke fanta and all those so i cut off um sweetener yeah i cut off sweetener because i don't want anything to remind me of sugar and also most of the sweeteners that are here in nigeria like the one i use it has aftertaste and i hate anything that has aftertaste so i cut it off completely so i do not use any sweetener but if i stumble upon a sweetener that doesn't have aftertaste and you know tastes okay i can just you know throw it there here and there to make maybe pastries to make bulletproof coffee aside that nah i'm not doing sweetener again so i'm trying to keep my keto moving forward very very organic like things that i can see and i'm sure that this is good this is good yes check check that kind of keto so i'm trying to do like real um vegetables real protein real fats not the ones that are processed like all those store-bought um processed food like um processed beef now nah, i don't want to do processed beef anymore but you know bacon has a kind of way of you know appealing to the eyes so i still eat bacon once in a while so i try to cut processed meat sausages and uh, minced beef except i want to make a very very special recipe or if i want to film it that's only when you see me buying processed beef but aside that i just want to be doing like normal fish normal meat normal egg see all those processed processed all those things i don't want to do it anymore because i just realized that the first time i ever did this keto and like it worked for me like mind-blowing worked for me was when i was eating things that i was sure of that you know didn't have to go through any process this process that and everything i was eating was you know okay and so i'm trying to like go back to those days like take steps back and you know try to figure out how i can do that again all right so next thing i cut off 
are these mentos gums and guy if i tell you that i don't even know see once i look at something and they write sugar free um i feel like it's good to go and then i forget to read the back one day i was reading like the whole whatever about this um mentos gum and then i saw sugar no i'm sorry i saw carbohydrate 64 67 grams per 100 gram like what why am i having 67 whatever it is if it's net carbs if it's i don't know i don't want to know why is there carbohydrates in this gum that i'm not even swallowing i was like you know what i won't chew gum again when i'm on keto because i don't even understand that's what I'm, I'm i'm trying to say i don't want to do things that we're having second thought about and you know i'm kind of thinking oh did i do it right did i do it wrong i want to take things that i am sure that i have taken right and you know they are perfect for my diet so i cut these babies off and yes i am paying that i won't be chewing gum again when i'm on ketosis but you know if this thing is good <laughs> let me know and if and if this coconut milk also they call it real coconut milk is like the canned one please if it is good let me know if you are a scientist out there microbiologist that can interpret the nutritional fact of this milk please do let me know in the comment section okay because i tried and it wasn't working for me so the next thing i cut off is butter and it's not the regular butter it is blue band butter from a video i did where i did my um, keto supply haul which i will leave a card here if you haven't seen it please do check it out i was showing all the things i bought for my keto diet and i purchased blue band and somebody was in the comment section like oh that butter is not good for you it's not good for keto blah 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 i was like okay 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 i've heard i've heard you but there were times where i used to use that butter and everything was fine but you know you know what i think it's actually not good for me so i cut off blue band butter and you know the all the butters that are not recommended for keto and then i bought the ones that are always more expensive like the ones that are always wrapped like the ala one prestige butter 100 cows like the ones i'm using right now most of my most most of my recent videos my recipe videos those are the types of butter i use for frying my food for my bulletproof coffee and so on and so forth so yeah i cut off that blue band butter because i don't think it's keto compliant if you are sure it is not keep it if you are sure it is not keto compliance please do let me know in the comment section below and so right now i'm doing the recommended butter that we're supposed to use which is kind of expensive so if you are out there and you can get me those type of butters hide it in mind please reach out to me i will gladly collect it thank you the last but not the least thing i cut off is the egusi soup <laughs> and that's because egusi is kind of controversial about being a keto compliant meal or not and i don't want to take chances once again some people say it's keto compliant some people say it is not keto compliant and i'm like you know what it's not hard i will cut it off there are many other delicious soups i can have there's okra there's vegetable soup there's afang there's a dikaiko i can have i will leave a go see when i'm off keto i will have it once again so that's pretty much everything i cut off and most of these things are not because they are bad but because i could not verify if they are good or not i'm a kind of simple person once i don't know what something is about i just leave it alone there's no need for me to be disturbing myself rambling up and down so you know I just cut it out so that brings us to the end of this video and if you made it up to this point my darling and you haven't hit the subscribe button please i am begging you hit the subscribe button down below make sure you give this video a thumbs up because it lets youtube know that i am making good content on their platform i am maximizing it okay so give this video a thumbs up and i would not like you to leave because i want you to keep sticking around with me by checking out my videos here and here so make sure you do check out my videos and i will see you in that next one you're about to click on all right so let's go